NBA Todie, most insane vertical jumps in NBA history. Having the highest vertical leap in the NBA or any other league is a great way to increase the intensity of the game. Basketball is commonly thought of as requiring high jumping athletes. Therefore, dunks are among the greatest aspects of sports because they feature the most drama. There will be times as an NBA fan when the players appear to be on cloud nine when their accomplishments seem to have a profound effect. Here are the top 10 NBA players in terms of vertical leap. 1. Michael Jordan, 48 inches. Michael Jordan deserves the nickname, his airness, more than any other player in the history of basketball. Jordan tops the list with a staggering vertical leap of 48 inches. We can estimate a 0.92 second hang time for this. The 1988 NBA All-Star Weekend Slam Dunk Competition was won by Jumpman with a perfect score of 50 thanks to his incredible dunk from the free throw line. His athleticism shone brightly in pretty much every game he played. Mike rose to fame as one of the most famous children in the country thanks to his extraordinary abilities. While it's true that he did manage to bind Daryl Griffith, we can't deny the evidence presented by the tape. Even among the best, Jordan's style of movement stood out as unusually fluid and unpredictable. The fact that he was two inches taller than Griffith inevitably implies that his peak elevation was greater. 2. Daryl Griffith 48 inches Most NBA fans probably haven't heard of this former jazz player. Gregory Griffith had a successful NBA career and was known as Dr. Duncanstein at Louisville, where he played college basketball. Griffith, who was six feet, four inches tall, had a vertical leap of 48 inches, allowing him to put his head within four inches of the basket's rim. He did not, however, win any dunk contests, unlike some of the other famous names here. He became a super athlete during his 11 years with the Jazz, and the team has honored him by hanging his jersey from the rafters as a tribute to his achievements. A lot of people haven't heard of him, despite the fact that he can jump four feet. 3. Jason Richardson 46.5 inches As the fifth overall pick in the 2001 NBA Draft, Jason Richardson was taken by the Golden State Warriors. While he had a respectable broad jump, his vertical leap was abysmally low at the draft combined, 39.5 inches. However, in the physical aptitude portion of the test, he scored quite well. Richardson won the slam dunk contest at both the 2002 and 2003 NBA All-Star Weekends. The official measurement of his true vertical leap was 46.5 inches. His 6 feet, 6 inches of height gave him an extra 4.5 inches of vertical clearance over the basket. One of the most memorable dunks in dunk contest history is Richardson's reverse 360 between the leg slam in 2003. Even though he left the NBA in 2015, Richardson continues to be a fan favorite for the Warriors. In the regular season of 2007-8, he led the Warriors with 243 three-pointers made, a mark that stood until it was broken by a certain splash brother. A career marred by injuries prevented him from reaching superstar status. 4. Anthony Spud Webb, 36 inches. Anthony Webb, a rookie in the 1986 NBA season, shocked the basketball world by competing in the slam dunk contest. Unfortunately, Dominique Wilkins, his team's best dunker, had no idea how often he dunked the ball. Webb, at 5 feet and 7 inches tall, not only had a vertical leap of 46 inches, but also dunk after dunk that left the crowd clamoring for tens, and he ultimately prevailed over Wilkins. Webb is one of the select few who can dunk without palming the ball. Despite his diminutive stature, basketball greatness has been within reach for Spud Webb. His vertical leap was on full display during his rookie year when he competed in the NBA dunk contest. Spud Webb, who is only 5 feet and 7 inches tall, has a vertical leap of 46 inches. To seal his victory over teammate Dominique Wilkins, he slammed a series of effective dunks from a vertical height of nearly 4 feet. Amazingly for a guy of this size, Spud managed to clear the rim by only 5 inches with his head when he leaped. One of the few NBA players who never palmed the ball when dunking, he was an anomaly. 5. James White, 46 inches. James White may be included on this list because he has appeared in NBA games, even though he has played in other leagues for longer stretches of time and has played professionally in other countries. 
His professional basketball career began when the Portland Trail Blazers signed him to a contract and then waived him. The San Antonio Spurs signed him, and after he played six games for them, he was sent to the D. Austin League's Toros. White appeared in 57 games for the New York Knicks in 2012-13, making up the vast majority of his NBA career. James White, at 6 feet and 7 inches tall, had a vertical leap of 46 inches, allowing him to reach a height of 5 inches above the rim. As a member of the Euroleague team Fenerbahce, White won the Turkish dunk contest thanks to his phenomenal vertical leap. Despite his incredible vertical and dunks, he was never able to establish himself as a significant player for any of his teams. 6. Zach Levine, 46 inches. In the 2014 NBA draft, Levine was chosen by the Minnesota Timberwolves with the sixth overall pick. Zach Levine had a draft combined vertical of 55 inches, which he barely managed to do, but his current vertical leap measurement is only 46 inches. Levine has won consecutive dunk contests in 2015 and 2016, and at 6'5", he can easily get two inches above the rim. In 2016, when he was up against Aaron Gordon in two tie-breaking rounds, Levine still managed to dunk from the charity stripe multiple times. The Chicago Bulls are proud to have Levine, an athlete of such caliber, to represent them. Even more so, the rest of the team has had a terrible year, and he remains their only bright spot. However, he is capable of much more than just dunking the ball. 7. Shannon Brown, 44.5 inches. Shannon Brown was relegated to the role of a backup for the Los Angeles Lakers during their era of dominance. But Shannon Brown had a lot of great times while she was a part of the Purple and Gold Army. When he and Kobe Bryant won two NBA championships together, he immediately took over for the Mamba. The height of Shannon Brown's one-legged jump is documented at 44.5 inches. Because of his height, 6'4", Brown has no trouble seeing over the top of the basket. Even Bryant was taken aback by a dunk he scored against the Dallas Mavericks. He spent a lot of time in the G League, but he was never a reliable reserve. 8. Muggsy Bogues, 44.3 inches. He is only 5 feet, 3 inches tall, so he might surprise you by making the cut. His incredible athleticism and bounce allowed him to play in the league for 14 seasons. Bogues has twice in his career recorded 10 assists. He says he can dunk easily but has never demonstrated this in an NBA game. Because of his superior athleticism and vertical leap, Bogues was a frequent dunker. With a vertical leap of 43.0 inches, Bogues was able to compete successfully in a league dominated by 7-7 seven -seven centers like Manute Bull. 9. Harold Miner, 44 inches. Miner, who played for USC until his junior year, was the 12th overall pick in 1991 and was taken by the Miami Heat. Many journalists dubbed him Baby Jordan because of his impressive skill set and athleticism, which put more pressure on Miner than he would have liked as he made his way into the NBA. Miner spent a total of four seasons in the NBA, with one of those being a 1995-1996 campaign with the Cavaliers in which he saw limited action, primarily in garbage time. Still, he will be best remembered for his 1993 and 1995 slam dunk titles. Despite being 6 feet and 3 inches tall and boasting a vertical leap of 44 inches, Miner's best jump left him with his head only an inch below the rim. 10. D. Brown, 44 inches. In his first season as a pro, 1991, he won the slam dunk contest and quickly became a media darling. He covered his face with his left hand as he dumped the ball over his right elbow, including his eyes. Since then, this has become widely recognized as the very first dab on social media. Brown was the Celtics' first choice at no, 19 in the first round of the 1990 NBA draft and stayed with the team for the first eight years of his career. At six feet and one inch tall, D. Brown can still get his head within three inches of the basket. His vert is 44 inches. Audiences always enjoy watching vertical jumps. Their favorite thing about players who jump high is when they attack or defend. This way, the whole basketball community can be impressed by these world records. That's it for today, folks. Hope you find it interesting. Make sure to comment your thoughts below and suggest some new topics you'd like us to make. And don't ever forget to like and subscribe to this channel.